Hello from Chinichi.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be reviewing this airsoft pistol. This is the WE brand Toucan or the Little Bird, Tiny Bird, whatever bird it's called. <laughs> it's a gas blowback pistol and it's a super compact size and uh, it's basically a replica of the Smith & Wesson uh, pistol, MP pistol. It's very compact. Okay, now let's put my palm here to show you the, uh, you see the size. It's a very nice compact pocket pistol. It's actually about the size of the Bursa, Bursa, uh, Bursa, Bursa pistol. <laughs> it's very small, tiny, compact, whatever you call that, okay. And this one comes in a few different color. And uh, here we got a tan color one. And they come in black, blue, uh, purple, whatever, uh, pink. Yeah. So it comes with three different size of this grip plate. And uh, it comes with the uh, one, one set of uh, pink and one set of tan color. So you can change that small, medium, large to fit your hand. And here the trigger, it's plastic, a mag release here, take the mag out, very small mag, okay, and for people who are looking for realism, you like this gun, because the small mags here, okay, it's a full size uh, mag, like it's not a mag with a hole, something like that, like the CO2 mag, it looks really good and compact. So it's a good trainer's gun if uh, you've got any pistol that you carry, it's that kind of size. And here you've got a little tiny rail for some tiny uh, laser or something like that, which I don't like. <laughs> the uh, lower grip and the lower frame is all plastic, but this, the slide is all metal. And uh, just here you can see, it reads, it says 9mm, see? Very re, uh, realistic looking, and here you can see the brass barrel. It, it sticks out when you cock it. It sticks out a tiny little bit when you cock it, so that's the brass barrel. And the uh, inner, the outer barrel here is uh, metal, and also nice recoil spring. Take a look. See? It kicks forward very nicely. It gives you a little bit of push there. Okay, not adjustable, non adjustable sight, uh, I think. Should not be. <laughs> but you can see some crappy green here. Okay, the green dots, they're crappy. Uh, not really good quality green dots. It looks more like a faded tan kind of color. Okay. And overall, the pistol is very light, lightweight, very lightweight. And it's just a nice. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> it's just a nice um, realistic replica with some good kick. The kick is good and also the mag is small so you don't get a lot of shots per fill but then it's just enough for about one mag or so and it's great if you have a few mags for action shooting. The gun comes with an other mag like this. You can see that they come with a little cover thingy okay like this okay so you put this on and then you can convert the gun to a larger pistol see now the grip look much larger like this you see now my hand can get a full grip with the gun see now you can have a full grip whereas the other one you don't. You see? And with this um, larger magazine, you get more shots and more shots per fill because you can fill up with more gas. And also, there is a, a very long, a fifteen round, no, fifteen round magazine that stick up, stick out like that too. But then it's pointless to shoot like a fifteen round magazine with this kind of gun. So my personal favorite is to stick with the small magazine and uh, feels great. The accuracy is not very 
very crazy good, of course. But then for some plank sprinkling and some casual shooting, this thing does more than enough for you. The internals are okay. They're not fragile as the Glock or the G18C. So here we'll put some gas in and let's take a look at a blowback action, okay? So here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the blowback action. Cock the gun, and there we go. It kicks really hard, actually. Okay, no gas. Okay. So, my personal uh, opinion is that this gun, you cannot expect a lot of shots in one fill. Maybe about 10 shots or so, and then um, it'll be good enough. If you fill the gun like for the mag up to, uh, to completely full and then you empty the mag it will be kind of like um, it cools down very fast and also the last uh, few shots will be very weak so the most um, the optimal setup is to load it up with about seven shots or so like an or, or like five or seven shots that's like how a normal compact size 9mm pistol like this will hold Okay, about like uh, seven, eight shots, something like that. And then after that, you're done and you need to reload anyway. So this kind of gun is good for realism and training if you have a firearm like that. But if you have to use a gas blowback for war game, then it's not a good idea with this kind of stuff. You better stick with high capas. Okay, good. So now let's take a look at the range and we'll test out the accuracy and so on. Let's go check it out. Okay, everyone, here we'll see the bullseye target and also a penny here for reference. You can see the size. Okay, we're shooting at this bullseye here, this one. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll be shooting with the WE brand little bird. Okay, and today we're going to use aluminum BBs. Aluminum BBs weigh 0.3 gram each, and we're standing about at about 15 feet to shoot the target. Let's go. No ammo. Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, as you can see, we are um, doing pretty good. Now, let's try this again. Okay, so the gun is empty. And the shots are pretty wild. I tried to aim the center, but it it's not grouping so well. So maybe we'll try to shoot dump a bunch of shots again and see how it goes. Okay, guys, let's try again. We'll be shooting at 15 feet, aluminum BBs, and let's try to group something here. Okay, eight shots. What do we have? Well, it's starting to group. It's starting to group better. Okay, you can see it's getting a little bit of uh, groupings. So it's not the greatest uh, target shooting gun, but it's great for action shooting and training. Like, you know, imagine that, um, okay, imagine that this is like a human shaped target. Uh, like that big and uh, it'll be pretty good so yeah it's not a super precision shooting gun but it's a great action shooter and also the grip and everything is very good so yeah thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like and again that pistol it's a very compact very very realistic and nice kick um, yeah super fun gun to play with but you know it's not a precision shooter and it's not super accurate super powerful but in my opinion it's still very fun compared to the let's say 
the high kappa, uh, 3.8, well, that one grew better, okay, and also kick harder, but this one here, it gives you the compact feeling instead of the bulkiness of the high kappa, so it's pretty good. Remember to subscribe and like, bye-bye.